this roller coaster of a stock market is giving you vertigo, how about falling back on a high quality turnaround story that will work regardless of what happens with China or the Uber IPO or anything else you might be worried about? I'm talking about Bausch Health Companies, the drug company formerly known as Valiant. For those of you who don't remember, three years ago, this company was a total mess. When the board brought in Joe Poppy, he's formerly the CEO of Perigo, to right the ship. The previous management pretty much had run the business into the ground, borrowing massive sums of money to fund a very short-term strategy. Valiant would acquire other drug companies, then slash their R&D budgets to boost earnings. And then once the innovation started running out, they make a new acquisition. They rinse and repeat. When Papa came in, there were serious concerns about the company's viability as a going concern. But within a year, he stabilized the situation. And since then, he's been working wonders, including the name change to Bausch Health, because Bausch and Loma is the biggest brand. Sure enough, on Monday, Bausch reported Quarter, spectacular quarter. Papa gave you a 17 cent earnings beat off of an 86 cent basis, higher than expected revenue, fueled by 5% organic growth. Wow, the company's best organic growth since uh, third quarter 2015, when everything started falling apart. Even better, he raised his full year forecast while actually boosting R&D. Turns out business is good. And when, while the stock has rallied roughly 116% over the past two years, I wouldn't be surprised if this is still early in the turn. Let's take a closer look with Joe Poppy. He's the turnaround artist, chairman and CEO of Bausch Health Companies. To learn more about the quarter and where his company's headed. Welcome back, Mr. Papa. How are you? Hi, Jim. Have a seat, Joe. Congratulations oh, again. Thank you. Thank you. You know, this was the offense quarter, and you need to tell me I am familiar with the Magnificent Seven. How about the Significant Seven? <laughs> so we're really excited. To me, I'm a pharmacist by my training. So to me, it's always about can we launch new products that make a difference in patients' lives right. and help, obviously, drive shareholder value. We have a Significant Seven grouping of products led, of course, by our one of our favorites, Lumify, yep. celebrating its one-year birthday this week. So it's already doing... This is my favorite. I used to use Visine. I'm right out. You know, I'm just saying it. This doesn't hurt your eyes, people. If you're up my hours, you need it. One year and already running at a pace over a $50 million annual run rate. With so great we're, profits. We're really, really excited about that. Uh, obviously, one of the other important things that's happened is we need to still turn around our dermatology business. Right. Our dermatology business got an approval uh, just last just month on Duobri uh, and Brihali. Do this is Duobri here, and Brihali was the month before that. And so that does what for people? This is for people who have psoriasis. Um, this Brihali. Duobri is really exciting because what we found is that by putting two agents together, we can use this for a longer duration of treatment for those patients. We think that's really exciting for what that means for changing the, pa the patients to topical therapy or allowing topical therapy for a longer duration and at really about a 75% savings to the healthcare system Fantastic. versus the injectable biologics. So we're really excited about that. And then that you means. have just the big dog, which is just amazing. Yeah, uh, our Zyfaxin continues to be really strong. During the quarter, uh, Zyfaxin, uh, we had a chance it was up 11%, on 8% volume growth in prescription. But interestingly, in our newest indication, uh, IBSD, it's for uh, one of the gastrointestinal indications, right. up 18% prescription growth. growth. So amazing. really exciting. Really and, exciting. And then you got to, you, you, you know, one of the things I love about your company in a time when people are so worried about prescription drug regulation, yep. the president was squawking today about it. Six, nearly 60% of your medicines are not exposed to the to brand prescription issues? Yeah, that's really exciting because we're really, we think, a very unique company. We're unique in the sense that we have a very diversified business. We're in 100 plus countries, number one. We have medical devices. We have contact lenses. Uh, we have s s surgical products that we dis uh, sell. Uh, so very diversified company. Of course, we have prescription, but a large part of it, and consumer products, but a large part of it is not not being regulated by U.S. branded pricing. It gives people, we think, a very important place to look at health care, but not be concerned about the U.S. branded prescription pricing. Which is situation. great, because that's what everybody, it's top of mind. Now, this was obviously the pivot to offense this quarter, but during the conference call, there were people who openly asked about whether it's time to break up the company, and your CFO didn't discourage it. What was that? Well, we think, first and foremost, most important thing we're doing is growing our Bausch right. & Lomb business. I don't know it's, if I want you to break up. <laughs> well, we're growing at 8% this quarter, Jim. V strongest growth in Bausch & Lomb since the acquisition in 2013. We think that's the most pivotal thing we can do to really turn around this company, and, and that's really the place we're going to focus on. But long-term, we're all about driving long-term shareholder value for our company. Uh, so we're going to look at all things, but clearly we think the most important thing to do right now 
drive the Bausch & Lomb performance. When I look at your news headlines, there's always two things, brand new approvals and then a little pay down of debt each time. Yep. You're still just chipping away at that debt, aren't you? Yeah, we, absolutely. Uh, we generate free cash flow, ballpark over uh, $1.2 billion that we think we can put towards the pay down of debt and or acquisitions. We completed a, a good acquisition, our gastrointestinal yeah, business. Yeah, off the bankruptcy, you picked that yep. one off. That we, was great. It's a perfect strategic fit for us. It fits so well. We think we'll have a best in class product with terms of the labeling, uh, teaming up with our Zyfax and with Trulance, we think is really a great opportunity. And just in the first 30 days we've owned it, we've already increased our calls on doctors to, about True Lance, our new product. So that was good. 30% increase there. Uh, we've already added some additional p potential um, patients on as we've gone out to regional plans through market access. Uh, we added 2.4 million patients already. So we're excited. We think it's going to be uh, a great opportunity for us. Well, this question, for a lot of your products, I'm actually tired of going to the uh, drugstore. Can I get all these Amazon? How do I do it? Um, well, they're available through, obviously, all the large retailers. Right. They're also available on Amazon or through e-commerce with any of the large retailers, e-commerce. Well, you know, I say that because this is the most run out of uh, product I have ever seen well, in well, a drugstore. I don't know how it's possible. Everyone's always running out of this. Is it just word of mouth? What goes on? It, it is word of mouth, and it's just a great product. It's already today, as we said here, one year anniversary. It's the number one recommended product by uh, optometrists and ophthalmologists ophthalmologist for the treatment well, of red Congratulations, eye. because Thank that's you. one year, one and year. it's wiping out. There's eye, there's a whole aisle, and it's wiping out. It's really incredible. I want to just commend you for what you've done. And I think we don't even talk about the lawsuits anymore. They're not even significant, Joe. I want to thank Joe Papa, the chairman and CEO of Bausch Health Companies. This is such a different company from three years ago. Congratulations to you, Joe. Thank well you. done. Thank you. Stay with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump of my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.